بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Brothers and sisters or teachers, we are covering Unit Three: Fiqh, Rituals and Rulings, and the days of Eid is being covered here. How to teach this or this lesson? So making them, you know, know that the Eid itself falls with within certain parts of the calendar. Going over the calendar, making sure that they understand which part of the calendar it falls in, and the events are surrounded. So Eid al-Fitr, the whole of Ramadan, uh, which has you know probably been covered just before that, the fasting and so on, all these parts that have been covered are around this Eid al-Fitr. And Eid al-Adha, if you want to go uh, over the story of Ibrahim and Islam and Ismail and Islam, a bit about the Hajj, so they get so they understand what is happening in the Muslim world at that time. And then to make them realize that the 10th is the day of Eid al-Adha. Of course, the 9th is Arafah before that, which has all been explained in the calendar that we've had at the beginning of the uh, book. And they'll understand that these are significant days um, that Allah Azza wa Jalla has blessed throughout the year. So once they understand the background of the two you know, stories, they should understand that these are days you know, of giving, whether it's to do with giving the poor something, uh, normally it's kind of wheat or barley or something else that's given to them, or the, ex or, or the equivalent of that in money, or the sacrifice that we give. Now the sacrifice could be done in the country that they're living in, or it could be done abroad, and it'll be good for them to understand you know, that there are you know, what animals that are given uh, to poor people, especially uh, throughout the lands that people don't ne necessarily have meat uh, every single day, uh, or they might not be able to have meat even once in a month or even once in a year. There are certain places the only time they receive meat is once a year. Now, to understand that, you know, there's, there's a lot of goodness that the Muslims are doing for one another. There's a lot of caring that is going on, uh, going on and people are sharing their wealth with one another. This is the beauty of our deen. So to explain all, the, all of that, to explain the background of that is a, is a wonderful thing. Um, to explain also that takbir al-tashir, okay, to, uh, to memorize this, to know this, uh, again, is part of the du'as. Uh, and Surah's memorization book two that we've got, or the Du'as and Surah's book we've got in the Safa publication series, we've got that uh, uh, takbir there. And now this takbir also needs to be said by every Muslim, this is an additional part, and to be said on the days, in the days of Hajj. For, so from the 9th of Arafah all the way till the 13th of the Hijjah, so, so 9th, which is day of Arafah, 9th of the Hijjah, all the way to the 13th of Dhul Hijjah for 23 salahs in total, the Takbir al-Tashriq will be said. Now, um, this part here is a practical part that can be done to have a whole salah, to have a khutbah as well within the, within the lesson for them to um, cover, to see how they actually cover the salah. But more so, it is important to kind of get them to write about the previous Eid or something, you know, that they had uh, with their family and what happened on that day of Eid with not only themselves, but with other family members. So did they go and visit people? Okay, did they go and visit people? Did they, you know, what kind of food did they make and so on? Um, and you might want to sort of talk about a bit about health here. Uh, we sometimes do over, you know, we overdo it with the amount of sweet stuff and things that we have around. And most of these children or others who are students might not be interested in that many you know, sweet stuff. They might be interested in receiving what's known as the Eid, these are the monies of, for Eid. Now again, to have a discussion about where they spent that money, how they spent it, where they spent their day and so on, is an important part. To get them to write out what happened on their last Eid or one of their Eids, which was you know a fun day of Eid. Where did they go? What did they do? And most importantly, don't forget about the Salah. Okay, did they did they do their Salah or not do the Salah? Because that is fard. It is it's an important part of every Muslim's life. Did they did they pray that when they went to the theme parks or wherever they might have gone? So to note that down and then to have a discussion of what different uh, you know different. Muslims do on the day of Eid. Now, you might get a case where somebody doesn't go out, somebody doesn't, you know, go and visit others. Well, others might come and visit them, which is a good thing. People do celebrate in different ways. And sometimes you might find somebody who doesn't celebrate the way others celebrate. Now, make sure that, 
you know, feelings are not hurt because there are those who don't receive gifts. There are Muslims like that. Unfortunately, you know, their families don't give gifts or they don't receive it. But what you could do is you could make something as, as a thing for the day of Eid. So, you know, day of Eid is coming. So what you could do is to see if they can save up some pocket money okay before this Eid you know thing is covered so during Ramadan or before Ramadan to save a little bit and to buy a gift okay for the mother or for the father or for the for the brother or sister to buy one and surprise them on the day of Eid now if they if they start that obviously you know the mother or father or whoever else is in the family as family members they would want to give back and they would want to give some gift back okay so these would be secondary school children to give them the idea what can i do with my little pocket money is buy something very very simple but makes you know make makes them happy or if they if you can't do that to make something in the class now here's here's where you can get very creative okay so normally for um, children that are you know young they'll probably make a card or something and and, and have it for Eid now what is it that they can do uh, and and with with something that they can that they can make uh, and surprise you know it could be even uh, a really nice you know card that they've decorated maybe with, with Islamic calligraphy okay now the, the children are getting a little bit older you don't want them to be simple cards you want them to put something really nice on the card so if it's a card uh, that they're going to make for their mother what's their mother's name get them to write that in Arabic calligraphy on the front of the the um, you know card if it's a father's name what is it in, in, and, and get them to actually you know not only um, uh, trace it out maybe it's Abdullah or something to trace it out uh, or Abdul Rahman and then to actually you know have it in the correct Islamic calligraphy format and to you know color that nicely or to, to or to design it nicely now again with with children of this uh, age they might have a computerized uh, you know part where they can find the name that shows them how the calligraphy is done but to print that out to to trace it out to uh, then you know draw it onto the actual card itself it takes some time to, to do all of this now in the card itself there's got to be a unique message that they put for their parents or for their family member so each one they can write out you know specifically something unique something to thank them to appreciate them to say wonderful things to them to, to make a dua again you can make them now now that a little bit older they can go and search for their own duas in the quran and sunnah and they can find duas uh, or they can make their own duas up and to, to write them again don't get them just to write it out no try and get them to write nice and neatly or in a calligraphy sort of style because people like this okay the more quality of uh, a card they will use uh, the more they will you know spend their time you know putting that uh, putting those names on it in a, in a calligraphy sort of style uh, the more they will do that, the more appreciating, you know, the, the parents will be and they will appreciate what's gone in this card um, for, for them to, to, to look at and to admire. Now, if they add for the parents, maybe Rabbi Rahmahuma Kama Rabbayani Sagheera, uh, my lord have mercy on my parents just as they nurtured me while i was young and they and they again write that in a beautiful way write the translation as well in there and they give that to parents uh, on the day of eid you know in an envelope and some something again it doesn't cost anything hardly anything it will cost but that will make them you know receive the day of eid with something special from this uh, family member if again you've got something that you know you've done wrong or you know ask the students if there's some forgiveness that they want from the parents or from from a sibling then again include that inside the message just to say i'm sorry for whatever whatever i might have done a personal message and i hope inshallah we can be you know we can live uh, as good brothers and sisters for a long time to be or something uh, duas like um, may allah azza wa jal uh, give you now this, this is du'as I'm saying which will be really good because this will really touch people out there May Allah Azza wa will give you give you a long healthy and pious life or may Allah Azza wa give you uh, when, when you come to the end of your life make you a person who leaves this world as a successful believer and to remain in illiyin 
for, for the days when you've gone away from this world and on the Day of Judgment for you to be in the company of the Prophets uh, from the beginning of the Day of Judgment until they enter Jannah and you enter Jannah with them and into Jannah al Firdaus. Okay? And the same for all of your loved ones. If you put a dua or something like that, you know, it will bring a lot of happiness to the people that receive that. So this is a day of creating or these are the days of creating happiness. So try and do something or be creative or creating something that will make them do that. Now, if you want to go to extended uh, things of, of Eid, then what you could do is you could get them to find more about the uh, you know, Qurbani Eid or the, or the uh, Eid al-Adha, find out the history of it, uh, the significance of it, about Ibrahim al story with Ismail al salam go over all of that. You can add that to the lesson um, and find out why Allah Azza wa would want us to sacrifice an animal because it's to show him, you know, that Allah has given us so much and we're going to sacrifice an animal in his name and we're going to feed the poor uh, for that to show that Allah Azza wa could have really taken a sacrifice from us personally but he hasn't so we're going to offer a sacrifice uh, to Allah Azza wa again we get reward for that and the blood of the animal doesn't even you know the blood of the animal doesn't even drop down but Allah Azza wa would have forgiven our sins or he would have you know he knows the taqwa that is inside the blood may not reach him the meat may not reach him but the taqwa that we've got or the the, the God consciousness we've got in our in our minds that will reach Allah so it's a beautiful way of getting reward and also feeding people uh, being rewarded at the same time as well as being you know uh, a person who's good to the community so all of these features are there for the days of Eid inshallah you can actually make them prepare something or make them learn how to make a cake or something simple for the days of Eid when the days of Eid come they can make that themselves and surprise people and also don't forget that if they don't have anything that is antisocial or they don't have anything that is extravagant or they don't have that is something you know missing in their uh, own life then you should understand that they might have other family members that that break the rules uh, that Allah has placed for the Muslims so to have a discussion that we should avoid such things and we should be Muslims that get closer to Allah Azza wa even during the day, uh, the days of Eid inshallah Jazakumullah khair wa alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh